Welcome to Pilgrim Parish's Night Prayer. I'm Geoffrey Hayward and I'm leading our Night Prayer this evening. Friday the 15th of May and uh, it's um, just coming up to the end of eight weeks of our present lockdown time. Night Prayer this evening takes the same form as it has during the course of the week. We shall have a psalm, a Bible reading, a very short reflection on the Bible reading, and then a little time of prayer towards the end. Our psalm this evening is uh, from Psalm 66, and I want to uh, use just the opening half dozen or so verses, in fact the first seven verses of uh, Psalm 66. And once again, I'll uh, pop them up on the screen so that we all get the benefits of the words in front of us. Shout with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Sing the glory of his name. Make his praise glorious. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. So great is your power that your enemies cringe before you. All the earth bows down to you. They sing praise to you. They sing praise to your name. Come and see what God has done. How awesome his works on man's behalf. He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the waters on foot. Come, let us rejoice in him. He rules forever by his power. His eyes watch the nations. Let not the rebellious rise up against him. And from those words in the Psalms in the Old Testament, we turn now to just a little reading from uh, the New Testament. And this evening we're going to dip into Paul's letter to the Philippians. And I want to read three verses from chapter 4. So it's Philippians chapter 4 and verses 4 to 7. And this is what Paul writes. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Each evening uh, this week we have been dipping into the uh, Celtic night prayer which uh, is uh, material taken from the uh, Northumbria community and uh, we come to Friday the 15th of May and I want to share with you just uh, actually a very short uh, reflection this evening on those words from Philippians chapter 4. The words of the letter here remind us of Jesus' remarks about the happy servant who is found sober and diligent about the master's business when his master returns unexpectedly. It is not exam technique that is required here, but preparation for continuous assessment. I rather like that last uh, sentence. Um, it kind of strikes home really, and I just want to repeat it. It is not exam technique that is required here, but preparation for continuous assessment. How true that is. And now we're going to have some words from uh, what uh, I've called each night a song of praise. And it's our song of praise for Friday. And the words will appear in a moment on the screen. And once again, I invite you to join with me, either uh, join with me from the beginning in the song of praise, or if you want to uh, pause between lines, then uh, please join in the words that are in bold type. 
Jesus, Saviour of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were on the point of perishing, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In your great mercy, set us free from all that imprisons us. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Saviour and our mighty Deliverer. Save us and help us that we may praise you. Come now and make your home among us, Lord Jesus Christ. Hear our prayer and be with us always. When you come in your glory, make us one with you. Share with us the life of your kingdom. And from the words of that um, song of praise, we move to the special prayer for today, Friday evening. And uh, it's the special prayer that we've been calling a collect. So we collect our thoughts, our hopes, our fears, and our prayers together as we say, loving God, your son willingly endured agony and shame for us. Give us grace to take up our cross and follow him, till at the last we may come to his king, we may come with him to glory, where he lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. And we continue with uh, prayer as um, I want to lead now in uh, a short prayer and then, of course, the final prayer, which will be the prayer of blessing. So a moment of quietness as we recall the things that we have uh, got up to today. The people who've crossed our paths, the people who have made the phone calls or we've made the phone calls to, the people we've perhaps seen on Zoom, Facebook, or one of the other platforms during the course of the day. The things that we've reflected on today, the things that we've perhaps read today. O oh God, make clear to us each road. O oh God, make safe to us each step. When we stumble, hold us. When we fall, lift us. When we are hard pressed with evil, deliver us and bring us at last to your eternal glory, through Jesus Christ. Amen. And the words are for blessing. I pray the protection of Christ to clothe you, Christ to enfold you, surround you and guard you, this night and every night. Amen. And so, until this time tomorrow, I say good night and God bless.